Happy Vlogmas Day 3. I guess this is usually Carissa, but she's still sleeping. But I do want to say thank you very much for the nice comments you guys all left on my last music video. It's very kind of you all. I'm gonna go to Starbucks to get some coffees. It's so awkward ordering Carissa's Starbucks drink because it's like five sentences long. It's like coconut milk, half sweet, peppermint, white something, this, that. It's a very confusing order to say. So I've just wrote it down on my phone and I just hand in my phone and go, I'm sorry, I just can't pronounce half these words. Can you make this and one normal coffee? Does anyone else have a ridiculously long coffee order? So I went to this random cafe instead and it turns out that it was the grand opening and I was the very first customer and they're all clapping and going, welcome, you're the very first customer. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> It's good coffee though. Excuse me, sleepy girls, but it's time to wake. It's like 8.45. This is the first sleep in I've had in like a week and a half, and it felt so good. And what's your excuse, Lola? You always sleep in. She's like, I just, I'm a dog. I just, I don't know, guys. <laughs> Somebody else answer for me. Look a little rough. I popped a zit. I shouldn't have popped a zit. It's a mistake, I really shouldn't have done it. And the retinol has made my face really, really, really dry this morning. Can you guys see? I'm like scaly, look at that. Oh, who else is using medical skincare products? And tell me all of your experiences below because I just, I just need something to keep me going on. I know it's working, I do. It's just, it's so hard when you've committed to something and it's not like a month commitment, it's like a four to six month commitment of like getting your skin trained. Good morning though, hi. I hope you guys have had a great morning with Glenn. I had to sleep in, it felt so good. I really needed it. My mom is at her personal training conference. I don't really have huge plans for today. I'm really excited. I didn't really get a weekend last weekend, so this is my first kind of day off in a long time. <laughs> Should be good though. I'm really excited. I'm gonna do some reading, I'm gonna drink my tea, and I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Have you played The Last of Us? The sequel is out now. I'm about to watch the trailer, I'm so excited. <laughs> What's up guys? I haven't talked to you in a couple of hours, pretty much all day. <laughs> so I have had a really relaxing day. I had a bath, I watched a two-part series out of like several part series of a Netflix documentary. It was like on children and like shaping their minds and like raising good little humans. But uh, I found that really interesting. And I'm about to make a soup. I don't really have a plan going into this, but I am going to make a soup. <laughs> it's gonna be with the ingredients that I just randomly have in my fridge. That's the best part about the kind of cooking that I typically try to do. I just try and use whatever the fuck's in the fridge and make it work. So today's soup is gonna be a cauliflower soup because that is what we have in our fridge. It's gonna be a cauliflower soup with some sweet potato, carrots, a little bit of onion, pepper, some tomatoes, and some cilantro and possibly other things that I randomly find in the fridge. I do have some garlic going in the oven. I think I'm gonna start chopping this stuff up and I think that I'll end up putting some type of like curry or masala spice in it. I think that that tastes really yummy. I don't know, let's see what I get up to. So I put my cauliflower and my sweet potato, some mushrooms that I needed to use up, the pepper, carrots, and just kind of tossed everything all in these two pans. And now I'm gonna put it in the oven. The oven is currently on like 400 degrees-ish. I don't know what that is in Celsius. And it's not actually 6.50 p.m. just so we're all aware. <laughs> but I'm gonna pop these in the oven with the roasting garlic. So there we go in the oven. I'm gonna put that on for probably 20 minutes and we'll see where we're at and then I'll probably give it a stir and add some spices at that point. I'm gonna lower the temperature just a tad too, to about 375. I'm loving reading where you guys found my channel from. It is so cool. I cannot believe some of the stories and just the stuff you guys share with me, it's pretty badass. And also, how cool is it 
that you guys interact with each other on each other's comments. I love seeing that. doing yoga for just about 20 minutes. Whew, all the steam. We're ready to go. Here's what we're working with. I'm gonna give this a quick little stir and I'll show you what spices I'm gonna put on it. All right, looking through my spices, I'm going to use this garam masala. I hope that I am pronouncing that right. I pronounced it like that forever, so fingers crossed. I'm also gonna use some cayenne pepper and some oregano, or oregano, as some of you say. Um, I think I might use some chilies as well, just chili peppers, and some parsley flakes. And let's start with that, and then if we need to add anything else, we'll add anything else. I always do use salt and pepper though, like very, very, very little salt, but like a shitload of peppers, so probably always assume in any recipe that I do that there is most definitely salt and pepper. Now the biggest thing with soups that I've found at least is don't over season too early because you'll fuck yourself over and then all of a sudden you'll be like, my soup is really, really hot or my soup is really, really salty. Like, just, just calm down. Don't do too much when you're in the initial roasting stage. Less is more. Just just let it be. Kind of give a little shake and let it be. All right, I'll show you. So that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about how much spice I'm putting on. I'm not like dousing it, but I'm giving it a good hearty shake or two. Sweet, I'm gonna mix that up and pop it back in. Though the garlic is done, I'm not gonna put the garlic back in. Look at that face, that's your suki face. Oh, you love your gammy. You do. All right, my can opener's broken, so I can't like twist it like a normal human, and I have to like actually go along. I'm <laughs> breaking the seal all the way around. I should probably just buy a new one, hey? All right, so I am taking my vegetable broth, and I'm gonna put probably to about there in. And then I took the vegetables out of the oven. I am going to then chuck them in the blender as well. 
I don't wanna, I don't think I wanna completely puree it, so I'm gonna save some of the veggies and like separate it on the side just so that I have like some texture in my soup. Slowly but surely. So I put like half a thing of veggie stock in the blender and I'm gonna put the veggies in. Um, I'm gonna put obviously all the large chunky things in but I'm not gonna put all of the cauliflower bits in. And now I'm loading the veggies in. Probably would have been easier to put the veggies in first instead of the stock, but whatever. All right, so this isn't completely um, pureed. I still have a little bit of chunks in it. I'm gonna empty a little bit of this just into a soup pot that I have on the stove. I'm gonna pour the rest of mm, that veggie stock into there, and then I'm gonna add the rest of the vegetables that were in the other pan into this to puree. And I'm gonna empty that into soup pot with the rest of the stuff. Jokes, I'm not gonna empty all of it. I'm just gonna empty half of it into the soup pot. And I also have some little chunks of cauliflower left just so that I can put these on the top of the soup as a garnish. So in this, I'm now going to put my beans, which I am using these ones. I'm taking the roasted garlic and squeezing it into the blender. Probably an easier way to do this, though I have not found how. <laughs> it smells great though. And then I am putting the beans in the blender. I rinse them first, that's why they're in the strainer. Before I blend, I'm also gonna use half a can of coconut milk and the solid part. Obviously, it doesn't really matter what brand you're using. I'm using this one. Clearly, I need a bigger pot, but that's all right. We will make do with a great meniscus on the brim. I'm gonna let this cook for, I don't know, until I guess we're hungry. You can pretty much eat it right away, but I find that soups taste way better if you kind of let them do their thing for a while and don't ever let them boil, so help you God. Just makes it taste gross. But yeah, just let it chill here for a while. I'm gonna add some more spices just uh, to taste. I'll take a little taste and see what it needs and uh, then I'll serve it up. I'm gonna add some sriracha too. I like the heat. So as you guys know, we're gonna do a few giveaways this month and um, I'm just gonna put it through a random generator and whichever one it picks, you are the winner for whatever Chrissa is giving away. What are we giving away? It was the Naked 2 palette yesterday. I'm gonna be my yeah! All right, right, here we go. Lola, get excited. Come on, there's gonna be a winner. Okay, loading the comments. And a winner. Yeah, yeah. Taryn M. Congratulations, Taryn. I hope you enjoy the palette. I will contact you and I'll grab your address off of you. Sweet, thanks. I'm gonna be doing a, another giveaway in tomorrow's video. I'm gonna skip a day just because I don't have enough stuff to give away every single day. <laughs> Hopefully if I find some more stuff or come across some more stuff, I will be giving away every single day, but we'll see how we go. But with that said, I think that's where I'm going to leave you guys this evening. I hope you enjoyed today's chill vlog. It was a really relaxed Saturday for us. Don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. It helps our video share out to a ton of new people and we really appreciate that. And I will see you guys in the next Christmas video, which will be tomorrow. All right, see you later. Bye.